Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to Maddie and Masala. We are a brother sister duo behind this channel, trying to do something different and fun, and we'll be sharing snippets of a little bit of everything from our life with you. Hope all of you are doing good. This is our first video ever, and today I want to talk about something that's really close to my heart and not talked about as much as it should be the memorization of Quran or Quran hips. For as long as I can remember, I have been in love with the idea of having memorized the Quran by heart. Every Ramadan, I would try to memorize as many surahs from the last juz as I could manage, but I never realized that I could practice this regularly, even outside of Ramadan. From where I come from, the Quran hips is considered something that can only be done by some people who have given up their worldly life and devote their time solely to the Quran. Where it is true that something like memorizing the Quran requires a lot of effort, most Muslims, including me until very recently, don't even think about starting it because of how difficult it seems. I would like to share some uh, tips for Hips beginners who are starting this journey at home or are thinking about it. At this point, I would also like to clarify that I am not a religious scholar. I only mean to encourage and help others by sharing what I have learned through my experience. It's been more than a year since I have started to properly learn Quranic surahs, alhamdulillah. I have completed five surahs and I'm currently memorizing Surah Al-Baqarah. I wish I had realized this was something I could do at home with the help of Allah and start it sooner. Before starting though, I would like to remind you that your sole intention should be to gain the pleasure of Allah only. Don't think about all the praise you might get from your family or friends. Only think of making Allah happy and trust me, the rest will follow. So, let's get to it. Tip number one, change your mindset. Never start with the mindset that this task is difficult or impossible. Honestly, your mindset matters a lot. Have faith in Allah and pray for yourself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qamr, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرُنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرُ and we have certainly made the Qur'an easy for remembrance. So is there any who will remember? When he himself says this is an easy task, how can we believe otherwise? Tip number two, start small. By small, I don't necessarily mean a small surah. I mean start by giving yourself small tasks, such as memorizing one or two lines or verses each day and slowly add to it as you go. If you start with the mindset that you have to memorize all the 30 juz together, it will overwhelm you and may discourage you from starting at all. Hence, think of it as, I just have to memorize one line or one verse a day and that is going to be much more manageable for you. Number 3. Be realistic in your daily goals. Don't try to cram as much as possible every day. Even if you are able to achieve your goal, you may get tired and probably discontinue. Always remember quality over quantity. And another thing to keep in mind in here is that retaining what you have learned is much more important than actually memorizing it in the first place. So set such a goal where you have to memorize a new line or verse and have time to review what you have previously memorized as well so that you don't forget it. Number four, choose one mushaf that you have labeled as my Quran. The advantage of this is if you use just one mushaf regularly, you can visualize whatever you are reciting. For me, I can actually tell to some extent where a verse is located in the Quran, for example, at the end of the third page of the surah or somewhere around the middle. This visualization also makes you instinctively stop and rethink in, in case you end up forgetting an ayah while reciting it to someone, because you can see it in your head somewhat. Mine has markings too from when I'm learning. I mark a long verse to break it up into small parts or underline the words that I feel are weak. The next tip is very useful if you are having difficulty remembering just one word in a verse. I have come across this technique only recently but it's been a great help. If you are having trouble remembering a word or end up getting it wrong repeatedly, recite the word that's troubling you along with one word coming before it and one word after it around 10 to 15 times while looking at it and inshallah with the help of Allah you will manage to commit it to memory. Number six, be consistent. One cannot stress enough on the fact that being consistent is the key to every successful habit or in achieving a goal. If you can't be consistent, you will be discouraged. Why? Because if you fail to consistently revise the old verses, you will forget them and be like, I can't do this, it's hard, I don't remember it, it even though I've memorized it. 
and eventually abandon it thinking it's not something for you but you will retain it once you are consistent in reviewing it number seven in order to review and revise what you have previously memorized recite the passages in your salah this is a very helpful tip honestly the more you recite it in salah the more firmly it gets etched on your brain I speak from experience and if the surah is long, break it into smaller parts, preferably at the ruku, and recite in each rakah. It helps a lot. Number 8. Have a memorization partner. This is obviously not mandatory, but if you can find someone who is also memorizing the Quran, partner up with them. It helps enormously. One, because you are sort of accountable since you share the progress you make and hence the chances of you being consistent increase. Two, you have someone to revise with. You recite to them whatever you have revised and then you listen to their recitation. I do this with my younger cousin and it's a huge help. Number 9. The last but not the least. Listen to what you want to remember. I can tell you from experience that listening to the audio of the verses you are trying to memorize makes it a lot easier to remember. Pick out a sheikh whose recitation you love and listen to them. Thousands of options are available on the internet completely free. My personal favorite is Sheikh Mishayu Rashid al -Afasi. I love to listen to his recitation and I listen to it when I'm free or even while doing uh, some work at home or even while commuting. That's all for the tips and now we have come to the end of the video. I hope this video is going to help anyone who has been struggling with retaining all they have memorized and encouraging those who have been thinking of starting this noble deed to actually do so. Jazakallah for watching and we'll be back with another video real soon.